I'm Chess Pride. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today is May 30th, 2024, which means today is the day the Sims team are rolling out the two new, what they're calling, quote-unquote, destination kits, which means it's basically a build kit, but for a particular type of community lot, from what I'm understanding. But, before I make videos on those, because I am going to be coming out with a video for both of those. So that will be two separate videos. But while those are downloading, I wanted to ooh, talk about the other thing that the Sims team is rolling out. And that is basically daily slash weekly rewards. So the Sims tweet, the Sims tweet come or the vending machine, leave with a brand new trait. Events are here in The Sims 4 as limited time experience with free rewards that add on new opportunities for your game. And then they link a article that I have pulled up that we will also be going over. But here, they have a two-minute video showing you exactly what they're talking about and how it works. I'm a very visual person, so I figured we could watch this together. I'm going to mute it because the music's kind of annoying. But um, it's just the regular Sims music. But I will make this bigger for you. So you can see it. Okay, it's muted. So I'm just going to kind of just go through this with you guys. Because I want to understand too. So what are login events? Okay, awkwardly enough, the audio did not turn off. Even though it's clearly on mute here and it the music played over me talking so i'm just going to have to do a voiceover and read it to you guys again so let's go login events are limited time events that reward you for logging into the game how do login events work each week you can unlock new rewards to unlock all the rewards log in at least eight times over the course of four week event you can view the current event as a title in the main menu. How do I claim my rewards? Here you can see the rewards you've claimed and the ones that you haven't claimed yet. You'll also see the items that will become available later in the event. And then to claim rewards, select claim and add them to your game. Simple enough. And it's just showing you how to do it here basically. If you have multiple rewards available, you can claim them with a single click. Rewards are, are time specific and may show a countdown until you can unlock. After claiming rewards the way, overlay will appear showing you all rewards that you just claimed. Click to, oh, this is where I'm, I couldn't read fast enough. I rewind it a little bit. My bad. That's good. That's just a little awkward moment there without the, the volume. <laughs> Click left or right arrow keys to claim them. Like, I really don't understand why they're telling us to use arrow keys in the X. Like, we've never been in a menu before. But whatever. Uh, more rewards will unlock each week. Where can I find my login rewards? All your claimed items will be marked with the event reward icon. You can claim them in build mode and create a sim. So, basically, there's just, like, a little special tab. And you... You go there and select that or filter it out by reward icon items and then it pops up with all of them and it is both in build mode and create a sim. So it has that special tab, click the special, click that and it brings you this. So that is pretty much the whole video and now I will explain in the rest of my video what all this means. So let's go ahead and go back to the recording. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. But that that was just the preview video they had there for us. But now I'm going to go ahead and hop into this um, blog post. And then I'll go into the game and show you how it looks in game. So the events are coming to The Sims 4. So it says, oh, hi there. I'm fine. A senior game... To design director on The Sims 4. I've been living, breathing The Sims for over a decade and have been lucky enough to contribute to The Sims 3, The Sims Mobile, and The Sims 4. 
I consider myself a simmer whose day job is to come up with new and unexpected way to play with The Sims 4. Which brings me to the topic of the development blog, the introduction of events. So this is a temporary thing. Um, I'll sh I can show y'all later exactly how long it's going to be. But from the sound of this, this doesn't look like it's going to be the only event like this. I think there's going to be more in the future. So it says, events in The Sims 4. Events are limited time experience centered around a fun theme with free rewards or gameplay that adds new opportunity to your games. Our team created a platform for these new events to live. Something that is flexible, easier to update, and will be easy to find and claim those rewards. Our designers have been busy making a new system shine and preparing for the first event while our artists have been creating new objects. Yeah, so it's definitely sounding like there's going to be more after this. If they stick to it. We know how the Sims team is, you guys. They'll say something. They'll hype us up. They'll be like, this is going to be a thing. They'll do it for a few months, and then we never hear of it again. So, we'll see if they stick to what they're saying here. But, um, it says, the first event will be the Sims 4 Happy at Home Login Event, where rewards can be simply claimed by logging into the main menu for a limited time. This event includes a suit of items that will help create a comfortable hangout space where your Sims can refine their skills with the new Practice Makes Perfect trait. There are updates in the future that will bring additional layers to what you can see and do. The team is working on adding gameplay to the events, perhaps a quest or two, to explore even more rewards to claim. The Sims team will be developing the events with the object gameplay connected to the Sims seasons. Events can also be timed to vary of different occasions in the calendar, year, or general theme that we can look forward to sharing with you in the future. Okay, and then, so that's basically what it is, and I have some opinions, some opinions. Um, on one hand, I think this... The idea of it is kind of cool. Like, I can kind of see where they're coming from by doing this. But also, not everyone logs in every week. I, I do. I'm a player that plays weekly, if not daily. Almost daily. Not every single day, but almost daily. So this would benefit me. But for people that are just casual players, I feel like aren't going to get to benefit from this. And then, like, the items are gone after a week. And it's it, the Sims team has this thing about releasing content that you can only get for so long. And then it disappears. And then you can never get it again without downloading it as custom content where other players got it and they're uploading it for the people that didn't get it. And, you know, most people don't like that. I can kind of see where they're coming from from a sale point. It does make stuff sell quicker. But it's also a lot of times just, um, I don't want to say bullshit objects but just not worth it objects f to buy a whole pack or to do a whole event where you have to log in every single day so I mean I, I, I appreciate getting new stuff I just don't feel like this is gonna benefit everyone and I and I I, I just have weird, I, 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 it feels weird to me to have content that is only available for so long. Like, I do get where they're coming from and why they're doing it. I get the logic. I get the logic. I just, I don't like the logic, if that makes sense. Okay? So, that's my opinion on this, but I'm still going to show you guys and, like, all that. So, this is just how to get the the 
the rewards. We already watched the video on how to do it, but I will point out the last one that says, any days you miss claiming your rewards can be claimed at any time during the duration of the event and up to one week after the event ends. So I will say they are at least, like, giving you time to claim it. It's not like a, oh, if you miss this day, you're screwed. You can't get any of the content. But I think from how they explained it, you have to, to log in, like, like, so many times a week. But they're calling it a daily login thing. So I'm a little confused. Let's see. Let's see what they say. Claim these rewards now to your game. Stay home. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. So, these are the rewards that they are giving out. So, it looks like there's a different amount each week. So, the first week, you get a dartboard, which, okay, I'm going to give my opinion on the these items after I show them what this. Um, a necklace and, a, it looks like a mini fridge and a nano trash can. The second week, you get a bar. It looks like it's a one-tile bar, which is interesting. We don't have a one-tile bar and a quote-unquote new hair, but I'm pretty sure this hair is already in the game. Again, we'll get to that in a minute. Week three, it looks like you can get some throw pillows that are removable and a new trait. And then the last week, the main thing you are getting is a vending machine. Okay. Okay. I would put the trait last because I feel like that's the biggest thing here. Okay. Let me get my opinion. So, these are kind of like the objects I was talking about earlier where they, they want you to download a pack. So, they're like, if you buy the, the pack by this time, you'll get these three free objects. And that everyone hates that. That's kind of like this. When I was saying they're bullshit objects. I mean these. I mean these aren't necessarily bullshit objects. These are good. These are somewhat good objects. But it's mainly objects we already have. So like we have the start board. It, it's just we have a fancier version of it. This is a more simple laid down version. We have a necklace very similar to this. We have a mini a fridge and a nano trash can, just not in these swatches. Um, we don't have a one-tile bar, but we have a lot of bars, and we have a bar that matches the... I'm pretty sure this matches a bar we already have, but it's just one tile from what I can tell. Maybe that that may just be a, a, a editing thing, but I'm pretty sure it's just a one-tile bar. Um, this hairstyle, like I said, we have this hairstyle. I think it may be a recolor. Or they may just be adding it to base game if it's not a Ari base game hair. But something we already have, because I've used this hair a lot. I recognize this hair. Um, throw pillows, we don't necessarily have these throw pillows, so I do somewhat appreciate these. And because the throw pillows we have like this, one come in a pack and t or a kit, not a pack, a kit. And two, there's only one. So these are like three layered together. So that's nice. The new trait, I'm, I'm kind of, I like the fact they're adding new traits. I do not like the fact it's going to be only temporary. And I have to wonder how you were going to upload Sims with this trait for I for people that don't have it. I guess when you download it, it would be like if you didn't have a pack and they had a trait from a pack, the trait just wouldn't be there anymore. But it's really annoying. It's just really annoying. Okay. And then the last one, why, is, why do we get the most stuff on the first week? And the least amount of stuff on this, the last week. Like, I do understand the vending machine is a bigger object than any of these. But I feel like these are more useful than the vending machine. So it kind of weighs out the quality. I don't know. Why, it, it's kind of like a hot, the hot tub thing. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like the hot tub thing, the vending machine. I, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird, but right here it just goes into detail 
of what all you were getting that shows in these photos and then it just answers a couple of questions so that is the whole blog post about it now let's hop into game so we can actually look at what it looks like in game all right so when you pull up your game this pops up and it says week one of five happy at home login events rewards this week's rewards and it names all the rewards um Log in three days to claim them all. Okay, so you only have to log in three days out of the week. So that's not as bad as having to log in daily. I will give them that. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a picture here that's just not loading. I don't understand why they would have it patterned like this if there wasn't something big in the middle. But it gives me a claim your reward button. So let's claim my reward. Okay, so it brings me to the screen. I think oh, right here it, where it says happy at home login event is where you press it if you don't get the pop-up. But it says, ha uh, or each week. So it says unlocked bullseye dartboard. So this is the very first of thing we get. And like I said, it's something we already have, but it's more of a simple version of it. So I'm going to click claim, reward claimed, and I guess it just is put straight into my game and like it said here you can look at all the rewards here in game as well to see what coming up and it says my next event reward will be available oh may 31st or so that'll be tomorrow for me okay hold on let, let me go read this for my next video and then i'm gonna come back and show you one more thing all right, though, as you can see, if you click this happy at home login event, it will take you to the exact same screen we just looked at. But on here, it says the time of how long you have left. So right now it says 34 days and 13 hours, which means this event is 35 days long, which means at seven days in a week that there are five weeks, which makes sense. Because it's the four weeks of rewards plus the extra week they mentioned they are giving you to claim your rewards. Which I do appreciate. I do appreciate they're giving you extra time. I just, I still have mixed feelings on the whole like temporary objects and, or timed objects and whatnot. Especially the traits. Like, I don't know. I, again, I have mixed feelings. I've already expressed my feelings. I don't need to repeat myself. But that is all there is really to this. This is the whole uh, big thing that was coming that they kept giving us the pop-up for. Like, come back in a week and see what happens. So that is what The Sims team has given us besides the two new kits. And the next two videos coming out will be over those two new kits. So keep an eye out for those. But for now, guys... Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and all that awesome stuff because you guys are awesome people. I'll see you next time. All right.